Ottawa's message to ships in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, slow down. It's now the law. These are reasonable measures to accomplish something that's extremely important. It's also an attempt to deal with an extraordinary situation. There's been an explosion in the number of North Atlantic right whales in the Gulf this year, up to an estimated 100 now, five times the normal number, right in the middle of a major shipping route. And ship collisions are at least suspected in some of the unprecedented 10 deaths of right whales since June. This is something most unusual. Hence today's now mandatory speed limit of 10 knots or about 18 kilometers per hour for ships 20 meters or longer. In this zone, in the western gulf, from the Quebec north shore to just north of PEI, the area where so many of the whales have congregated to feed. Speeders could be fined up to $25,000. The zone where the speed restriction applies could move depending on what the right whale does in terms of where it is presumably searching for its food. The problem with all of this, says the shipping industry, is that time is money and the delay for ships, in some cases up to eight hours, will cost. When you add time on marine transportation, we're looking at less efficiency, so more co potentially more costs and issue of competitiveness. Others say there's pressure on shippers to comply. I I think they've demonstrated many times that they're not interested in that type of reputation. Coming into port with the whale slung over your bow is always a bad thing as well. Also in the works, more potential changes to the fisheries in the area to prevent the entanglement of whales. The snow crab fishery has already been closed in some areas. More closures could follow. Whatever steps are necessary to ensure that the maximum protection is offered to these endangered marine mammals. All of this as the research into a most unusual season of whale migration continues. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.